So now let's take our second example. So in this example, we are going to use Newton's method to approximate the solution of the non-linear system y times e to the power x equals 2 x squared plus y squared equals 4 by computing two iterations giving an initial estimate x of 0 equals x naught y naught and that is equal to negative 0 0.6 3.7 so how do we solve this problem now to solve this problem the first thing we need to do is to write down the formula in finding the solution of the non-linear system as far as the newton raphson's method is concerned so we have that to be x of k and that is equal to x of k minus 1 minus the inverse jacobian of x of k minus 1 times f of x of k minus 1 so after stating or writing down the formula the next thing we need to do is to find the Jacobian matrix. So the Jacobian matrix is given by, now in this system we have two nonlinear equations and so we are going to obtain a Jacobian matrix which is what? A 2 by 2 matrix. So the Jacobian matrix is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. So for the first row it's going to be occupied by the partial derivative of the first function with respect to x and then the partial derivative of the first function with respect to y and then for the second row that's going to be occupied by the partial derivative of the second function with respect to x as well as the partial derivative of the second function with respect to y so for we are going to assume this to be the first function and thus we are going to put it in the form let's say f1 of xy and that's going to be y times e to the power x we transpose this to the left hand side so that becomes negative 2 equals 0 and then also for the second function we are going to have f2 of xy and that's also going to be we have x squared plus y squared minus 4 and that's also equal to 0 so let's try to find the jacobian matrix so for this element we have the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x so it means that for f1 we are going to consider y as a constant and then we differentiate with respect to x now the derivative of e to the power x with respect to x is still e to the power x so here we are going to have y times e to the power x negative 2 is a constant we differentiate that and then we have 0 now we move on to partial derivative of f1 with respect to y so this time x is going to be a constant we differentiate this term with respect to y and then we have 1 because derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so we have 1 times e to the power x which is still e to the power x this is a constant it goes away now to the second function we differentiate first with respect to x and then we have 2x this and this goes away so we have 2x next we differentiate with respect to y and then we have 2y so this is the jacobian matrix now after finding the jacobian matrix the next thing we need to do is to perform the iteration steps okay now we can perform the iteration steps so for the first iteration We have k to be equal to 1 therefore we have our formula to be x of 1 equals x of 0 minus the inverse jacobian of x of 0 times f of x of 0 so from this formula we are going to have x of 1 and that will be equal to x of 0 which is giving us x not y not equals negative 0 0.6 3.7 so here we are going to have negative 0 0.6 3.7 minus 
the inverse Jacobian of x of 0. So we have this to be the Jacobian matrix. So we are going to replace x with negative 0 0.6 and then y also with what? 3.7. So we have y e to the power x. So that becomes 3.7 e to the power x is negative 0 0.6. Here we have e to the power negative 0 0.6. And then also we have 2 times x, x is negative 0 0.6 and then 2y, so 2 times 3.7 and then times f of x of 0, okay. So that is the function. So for the first row, we are going to replace x with negative 0 0.6 and then y also with what, 3.7. So for f1 we have y which is 3.7 times e to the power negative 0 0.6 minus 2 that is for the first function the second function we have x squared so negative 0 0.66 negative 0 0.6 squared plus 3.7 squared minus 4 Now let's simplify this. So we are going to have negative 0 0.6, 3.7 minus. Now we are going to evaluate the various elements we have in here. So when you evaluate this with your calculator, then you are going to get 2.03060. Five four eight eight one two negative one point two and then seven point four. Times when you also evaluate this, they are going to obtain zero point zero three zero six zero three one and then ten point. 05. Now let's proceed. So next we are going to have negative 0 0.6, 3.7 and then you are going to evaluate this inverse in your calculator. Okay so when you do that you are going to obtain 0 0.47 one seven eight eight negative zero point zero three four nine eight nine six and then zero point zero seven six five zero six one and then zero point one two nine four six one multiplying 0 0.03060310.05 0 0 next you have negative 0 0.6 3.7 and then you multiply these two matrices and then you have negative 0 0.33 Seven two zero eight one point three zero three four two four. So at the end, we are going to obtain negative zero point two six two seven nine two and then two point three nine. Six five seven six. So this is the set of values of x of one, and that is simply equal to x one y one. So at the end of the first iteration step, these are the values, or this is the solution we are going to obtain. However, we are asked to perform two iteration steps, so we are going to do the second one. 
So for the second iteration step, that is where you have k to be equal to 2. Okay, and then also you have x of 1 to be equal to x1, y1. And that is equal to negative 0 0.262792. So negative 0 0.262792. As well as 2.396576. So 2.396576. So for the second iteration step, we are going to have x of 2 and that's equal to x of 1 minus the inverse Jacobian of x of 1 times f of x of 1 so we have x of 2 and that is equal to so this is x of 1 that is what we have here negative 0 minus the inverse Jacobian now for the inverse Jacobian we are going to have that to be so for the Jacobian matrix remember that this is the Jacobian matrix this is the Jacobian matrix so we are going to have y times e to the power x e to the power x 2x and then 2y so for y e to the power x we have y to be this value so 2.396576 and then e to the power x what is x this is the value of x negative 0 0.262792 okay and then for the other element we have e to the power x so that becomes e to the power negative 0 0.2627 Nine two, and then we have two x and then two y, so two times x, negative zero point two six two seven nine two, and then two y, two times two point three nine six five seven six, and then times f of x of one, okay. So we have f1 to be y e to the power x minus 2. So y, this is y, 2.396576. So y times e to the power, y times e to the power x. So what is x? Negative 0. Point Two six two seven nine two, and then minus two. So y times e to the power x minus two, and then f two is x square plus y square minus four. So here we have x square negative zero point two six two seven nine two square plus y square. So plus 2.396576 square okay so let's proceed so here we are going to have negative 0 0.262792 2.3965 Seven six minus. Now at this point, what we are going to do is we are going to evaluate what we have in this matrix. Okay, so when we do that with your calculator, we are going to have one point eight four 
0.2732 and then 0 0.768902 okay and then you have negative 0 0.5255 eight four and then four point seven nine three one five two and then you evaluate this and then you also have negative zero point one five seven two six eight and then also one point eight one two six six okay so next you have next you have negative 0 0.2627 9 2 2.3965 minus now you are going to multiply the inverse of this matrix by this other matrix okay you multiply the inverse of this matrix by this two by one matrix when you do so you have negative 0 0.232504 okay negative 0 0.232504 and then 0 0.3526 seven seven okay so you subtract this from that and then finally you have negative 0 0.03 0 0.0288 and then 2.04390 this is x2 y2 so at the end of the second iteration we have x of 2 to be equal to negative 0 0.030288 2 0.04390